The Ukraine war has completed its first year. As we go into the second year, we recall the major events and developments on and off the battlefield. Stage 1. The operation begins. Russian President Vladimir Putin announces the start of a special military operation with the aim of defending the Lugansk and Donetsk republics and eradicating Nazism from Ukraine, prompting Russian military columns to start marching over a distance of 65 kilometers toward the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv. After several days of fighting, the city of Kherson becomes the first major city to fall into the hands of the Russian forces. Then the Russian army besieges the city of Mariupol and takes control of the strategic port in the Sea of Azov. Almost a month later, reports come out that the Russian cruiser Moskva has sunk, making it the largest Russian warship to sink in wartime since the end of World War II. In continuation of Russia's military progress, Putin announces the victory of the Russian army in the Battle of Mariupol, saying the city was now under Moscow's control. The Russian forces announced soon thereafter that they took over the region of Lugansk. Stage 2. Danger strikes food and energy. In an effort to mitigate the humanitarian crisis brought upon by the war, the UN, Russia, Turkey and Ukraine agreed to the Black Sea Grain Initiative, which allowed for the resumption of exports of grain, foodstuffs and fertilizers from Ukraine through a safe maritime humanitarian corridor. However, one event further intensified the war and fanned the fears surrounding it. The Zaporozhye nuclear power plant is shelled, and both Ukraine and Russia accuse each other of deliberately shelling the plant. The fighting escalates between the two armies, and following a major Ukrainian offensive, the Russian forces were pushed out of the region of Kharkov. Two days later, the Ukrainian army announced that it had managed for the first time to shoot down a suicide drone used by Russia during the war, which was alleged to be of Iranian origin. Stage 3. Nuclear Threat Russia calls up 300,000 reservists after Putin announced the partial mobilization of Russian citizens in the reserve, underlining that he would use all means at his disposal to protect Russia and its people, hinting at nuclear weapons. Shortly afterward, the local authorities in the regions under Moscow's control held referenda to join Russia, fulfilling one of the goals Moscow had gone to war for. This angered Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who announced that his country would expedite the process to join NATO. In retaliation against the sanctions imposed on it, Moscow said it would only accept energy payments in its national currency from unfriendly countries. This would disturb Western economies, which had approved aid packages for Ukraine that included HIMARS, among other sophisticated weapons. Stage 4. Crimea under attack. The situation escalates between the two sides, as a large explosion shook the Crimean bridge. In response, the Russian armed forces launched a massive bombing campaign on all parts of Ukraine, including Kyiv. Moscow also suspended the grain deal after Ukraine attacked its fleet in Crimea with drones using what Russia claimed to have been humanitarian corridors. Russia only resumed its participation in the agreement after Ukraine pledged not to use humanitarian corridors for military purposes anymore. The war intensifies as Ukrainian drones attack two Russian military airports located in the Russian hinterland, and Moscow announces that its air defense systems shot down the aggressive aircraft. The US then provides the largest military aid package to Ukraine and its allied countries. Russia and Ukraine later exchange about 200 prisoners of war, including high-profile prisoners, after complicated negotiations. Will the second year of war show any further escalation between Russia and Ukraine?